Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Drones are increasingly being used in the military industry. After all, they're controlled remotely without endangering the pilot's life. They can help solve issues of reconnaissance, observation, as well as attack the enemy with various weapons. Today, we'll show you the 10 most insane military drones in the world. Sparrowhawk General Atomic's aeronautical systems have successfully conducted captive carry flight tests of their Sparrowhawk small unmanned aircraft system. The concept behind the Sparrowhawk is intriguing. A drone carried by the MQ-9 Reaper or MQ-1C Grey Eagle unmanned platform that can be launched and recovered to conduct its own unilateral intelligence surveillance reconnaissance operations. The drone is controlled by GA ASI's proprietary Metasoftware Defined Control Station and can be operated from a laptop by a ground element. The possibilities enabled by Sparrowhawk are battle-changing. Beyond extending the range and ISR capabilities of the MQ-9 or MQ-1C, the platform could act as an independent electronic warfare platform to safeguard the parent carrier or follow on strike aircraft or missiles, or indeed it could potentially be armed as a loitering munition in its own right. CH-7 China's new generation stealth combat unmanned aerial vehicle, CH-7, was unveiled at the Airshow China 2018 in Zhuhai, considered the most advanced drone that China has developed. Shi Wen, the chief engineer and designer of China's Kaihong, CH, told that the performance of the CH-7 in many areas is better than the US-made RQ-170 and quite close to the RQ-180. The CH-7 is 10 meters long and has a 22 meter wingspan. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 28,600 pounds, 13,000 kilograms, with a cruise altitude of six to eight miles, 10 to 13 kilometers, a cruising speed of 380 to 450 miles per hour, 610 to 720 kilometers an hour, and can stay in flight for 15 hours. The CH-7 also has internal weapons bays, so it is capable of launching weapons like anti-radiation missiles, air-to-ground or anti-ship missiles, and long-distance precision-guided bombs. Gorlitsa In 2016, State Enterprise Antonov, which is part of the state concern Yukur Oborno Prom, presented its latest development, the newest tactical unmanned attack vehicle, ANBK-1 Gorlitsa. The Gorlitsa is four drones literally stuffed with tracking systems and optionally weapons, a ground control station, a launch pad, transportation, and repair installations. To service such a complex, 22 people are required. Drones are equipped with tracking systems in order to record and distinguish moving targets from a working altitude of 1,800 to 2,400 meters, as well as direct high-precision ammunition to the target. With its own weight of a drone of 330 pounds, 150 kilograms, its useful weight is 110 pounds, 50 kilograms. This will make it possible not only to conduct reconnaissance, but also to install strike weapons, which will be controlled by an operator from a ground station. Doosan South Korean Army buys hydrogen-powered drones from Doosan. The Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, South Korea's arms procurement agency, stated that it has agreed to purchase hydrogen-powered drones from Doosan Mobility Innovation, a provider of drone solutions based on fuel cell power packs. The contract, which is over 700,000 US dollars, aims to strengthen the Korean military air surveillance capabilities. The hydrogen-powered drones will be delivered by November this year. These drones are small, but can fly for a long time compared to conventional battery drones. They also benefit from low sound, low pulsation compared to gasoline drones, helping idea for covert surveillance and reconnaissance missions. These drones will also be equipped with electro-optic and infrared cameras. Rustum 2 Rustum 2 unmanned aerial vehicle is the latest addition to the Rustum series of UAVs, which also include Rustum 1, Rustum H, and Rustum C. 
It is intended for use by the Indian Armed Forces, including Army, Navy, and Air Force and Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance tasks. The Rustam-2 drone is based on Rustam-H Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle and features lightweight airframe. It has a length of 9.5 meters and an empty weight of 1,800 kilograms. The drone is designed to carry a variety of state-of-the-art payloads weighing up to 770 pounds 350 kilograms, to provide multi-mission capabilities in both day and night lighting conditions. The Rustam-2 can fly at a maximum speed of 140 miles per hour, 225 kilometers an hour, and endure for up to 24 hours. Altius Russia's new Altius Medium Altitude Long Endurance UAV has become the first homegrown UAV to incorporate the onboard function of transmitting control commands to the UAV and reconnaissance data from the UAV to the ground via a satellite communication channel. The Altius has a wingspan of under 30 meters and is propelled by two 500 horsepower VK800C turboprop engines developed by the Klimov Design Bureau. It can climb to a height of 14 kilometers with flight autonomy of up to 48 hours. Altius will also have artificial intelligence elements to interact with fifth-generation Sukhoi Su-57 fighter jets. It will lay routes to bypass air defense without human interference, find and attack important targets, and return to the base. Perdix. The Perdix drones are the main subject of an experimental project conducted by the Strategic Capabilities Office of the United States Department of Defense, which aims to develop autonomous micro-drones to be used for unmanned aerial surveillance. Having multiple micro-drones carrying out surveillance is tactically advantageous to simply having one large drone because it's easier for the micro-drones to dodge air defense systems. The drones have the ability to collectively determine whether they have completed a mission, leading some commentators to argue that Perdix drones are artificially intelligent. The Perdix drones have two sets of wings, which are straddled by a plastic body containing a lithium battery and a small camera. V-247 Vigilant the Bell V-247 Vigilant is a new multi-role tilt-rotor unmanned aerial vehicle being developed by Textron subsidiary Bell Helicopter to meet the future requirements of the U.S. Marine Corps. Bell Helicopter revealed the design of the V-247 Vigilant tilt-rotor UAV in September 2016. The drone is expected to enter production phase by 2023. The Bell V-247 Vigilant can be deployed in a range of missions, including electronic warfare, airborne early warning, an escort for V-22, V-280 tilt-rotor aircraft, command, control, communications and computers, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, persistent fire support, and tactical resupply. The unmanned aircraft will be equipped with a modular payload system, the open architecture of the system will allow for the integration of weapon systems according to the mission type. AGS NATO is acquiring the Alliance Ground Surveillance, or in short, AGS system, that will provide allied forces with unprecedented near-real-time terrestrial and maritime situational awareness throughout the full range of NATO military and civil military missions, including peacekeeping and humanitarian disaster relief operations. NATO operates and maintains the AGS system comprised of five NATO RQ-4D remotely piloted aircraft and the associated European Sourced Ground Command and Control Stations. The AGS NATO RQ-4D aircraft is based on the US Air Force Block 40 Global Hawk. It has been uniquely adapted to NATO requirements to provide a state-of-the-art intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capability to the Alliance. Using advanced radar sensors, these systems will detect and track moving objects and will provide radar imagery of areas of interest and stationary objects. <music> Q4 
Corsar. The Corsar Unmanned Aerial Vehicle System was developed by the Luch Design Bureau in Russia. The drone can be configured to perform a variety of military missions such as surveillance, aerial reconnaissance, patrol and observation, target acquisition, aerial photography, and cargo transportation. It can also operate with other ground and air platforms within a secure network. The Corsar can be equipped with electro-optical systems and a digital aerial camera for collecting reconnaissance information, imagery, and video streaming. The drone can reach altitudes from 100 meters to 5,000 meters, which makes it out of reach from small arms fire and various types of portable anti-aircraft missile systems. The unmanned aerial vehicle is capable of operating at a maximum speed of 93 miles per hour, 150 kilometers an hour, and can stay in air for up to eight hours. It is capable of operating in all weather conditions. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the drones you liked the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.